out um, and they, they gave their future plans and we're actually going to cover it tonight. So one of the interesting drops that came out today is Digi Daigaku's Masked Villains. So if we have a look here, so far there's six and a half thousand um, people are still claiming, people who own Digi Daigaku. There was a, a claim window and they have said if you missed it, don't worry, there will be another one if you are a Digi Daigaku holder. Um, so the final collection size is probably going to be close to what the normal Digi Daigaku main collection sits at. Um, mm -hmm. I'll just open another open C. But I know that they, the main collection is sitting at about 12 Ethereum or just under last that I checked. Um, so the villains, are, you obviously got more supply, so you, you must have been able to mint more. There were different quests and things like that because it's only got 2,000 in the Genesis. And you can see the floor price is 11.5 ETH. And now they've launched their masked villains. Um it's always interesting to see what it's sitting at the floor price because yeah you know that's that's quite cheap uh, compared to the main collection right yeah it is pretty fucking cheap actually let me see the art again on the uh, the pyramid art interesting wow that's it's quite a fucking difference right there especially because there's only six thousand items right now um they were the main topic yeah. of the nft morning show i wonder if these are going to run like a delayed run I think they potentially could. What's interesting here is, uh, yeah, I mean, look, it's been very choppy, exactly like you said the market is. I mean, that's, for the first day, that's quite, I mean, you could be trading this between 0.4 and 0.55, up and down, yep. up and down, up and down. See, sales have slowed down, but the floor mm -hmm. has stabilized. So all the paper hands are out. Sales have sales have slowed down, but people aren't undercutting at the rate that they were. So yes, it is yeah. going to be interesting to see what actually ends up happening here with the floor price and also what the end collection size is going to be. Because even once they finish this claim, they have said there will be another claim on it. Interestingly, the, the creator earnings or, or royalty fees is 10%, which is actually very high. And here you can see what I'm saying with the volume yeah, tapering yeah. off. You can see it's less blue blue box over there. And if we jump onto their website, you can see here, this is where if you're a holder, you could sign up for the um, for the whitelist. But then you go through to Quest, and you have to have one in your wallet in order to be able to do a Quest. But you can see here that the, you, if you have one, you'd go into here. And with the villain, the, you, um, they've got a whole story behind it and Quest that you can do. Damn, bro. Damn. Did you yeah. ever look into Digital Diagoku? I did do a, a, a I think I did a, a full review on them. If not, they're on the list for snap reviews for round two because I'm going to do a round through all the, the main gaming projects that are well known. But I don't know too much. I just remember. No, I did. I did review them because they had that like whatever it was, some exorbitant amount of money that they raised in VC funding, some billion, some millions of dollars. Uh, so I was coming in for that reason, and I knew that Gabe was like an established game dude, um, expert person from the real world. That's what I gathered, at least. I didn't honestly do enough research to know if that was true. Like, I know everyone says that, and he's big on Twitter, but I feel like we need to, I need to do a bigger dive. No, so game. he is. He's a big Web2 gamer, but he's not very good on Twitter. So it's, he's the sort of guy you, your employee that you keep in the basement because he, he, but he's got half know, a million followers on Twitter, bro. Yeah. That's probably why people like 